My new work has been released, welcome everyone to read my work in Tomato Novel. I hope everyone can enjoy it. Your attention is the driving force behind my writing, and I will strive to tell every story well. Chapter 1. Crossing. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Pain, it's killing me, my head feels like it's blown open. Tian Zyk was shopping in modern times, but just strolling on the street, he encountered a high dot altitude falling object and passed away, crossing back to ancient times. On the first day of arriving in ancient times, Tianzi's face was shrouded in circles, knowing nothing or understanding. I only know that I have traveled, and there is no information at all, my mind is empty. The Tian father, Tian mother and Tian Zyke's brothers and sisters all gathered around Tian Zyke and asked, Zyke, what's wrong? But what's wrong? Is your head okay? Does it hurt? Tian Ran is too ruthless, so he smashed Zyke's head hard. Your head was hit by someone, how do you feel now? Faced with the questioning from a large family, Tianzi was at a loss and said, I'm fine, I just can't remember who you are, who are you? What? Upon hearing this, the family didn't know what to do. I injured my head and woke up, but I don't remember who the person was. It's all because of that ruthless Tian Ran who smashed Zyke's head, it's so despicable. The family can only tell that this family has the surname Tian and has nine members. Grandpa. Tian Su. Grandma. Li Lan Hua. Dad. Tian Yin Mo. Mother. Lu Hong. Sister. Tian Ziwei. Third brother. Tian Zian. Fourth brother. Tian Ziheo. Fifth sister. Tian Zifei. And she, the second in line, Tian Zike. This era was the Tianyue dynasty, with a monarch surnamed Bailey. And their family is an ordinary rural household in a remote county town okay, after learning some information, Tianzi finally let go of his heart. Zyke, don't think so much. You will remember it in the future. Even if you can't remember it, it's okay. Dad, Mom, everyone in the family will protect you. Don't worry, Tian said. Dad, Mom, big sister, third brother, fourth brother, fifth sister, I'm fine, you don't have to worry about me, Tianzi said to the Tian family. As long as it's okay, as long as it's okay, rest well, we're all busy now, Tian Mu comforted Tian Zike. Jian Tianzi didn't have much to do, he just didn't remember anyone. Everyone put their hearts down and started doing farm work. As the family dispersed, Tianzi was lost in thought. The Tianyue Dynasty. A hundred miles. How did I cross into the era of overhead? After thinking for a long time, Tianzi finally chose to settle down and accept his fate. Anyway, I can't go back anymore. If I fall from a high altitude, I won't be able to survive. I just accepted the reality of crossing the river and lived well. For dinner, Tian's mother cooked two eggs and gave them to Tian Zyk, saying, Zyk, you've injured your head now. Come and eat two eggs to make up for it. Thank you, Mom. Tianzi took the egg and was about to shell it to eat. I found Tian Zian, Tian Ziheo, and Tian Zifei drooling at her eggs. Um. Tian Zyk, do you want to eat or not? I had to say, Zian, Ziheo, Zifei, do you also want to eat eggs? Tian Zian said, No, we don't want to eat. Tian Ziheo said, Second sister, we'll just have dinner. Tian Zifei. Second sister, can I have some? Just a little bit will be fine. Tian Zian said, Zifei, what are you talking about? This is second sister's egg, and none of us can eat it. Tian Zifei had no choice but to entrust Chu Baba and say, Second sister, I don't want to eat eggs now. I'll just eat. The adults of the Tian family remained silent for a long time, and Tian's father said, Life will be better from now on. Let's cook eggs and eat them every day. It's not that I don't want to boil a few more eggs, 
but now it's a barren year with little food, and all the eggs have to be sold. Now Tianzi is injured, it was an accident, so boil two eggs for her to make up for it. Chapter 2 Grain You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day, Tianzi woke up to have breakfast before dawn. Because the Tian family cooks two meals a day, breakfast and dinner. Get up to eat breakfast before dawn, and have dinner at sunset. There will be no lunch, nor will there be any lunch. The Tian family is located in Tianjia village, with 10 acres of water and 20 acres of dry land. Don't look like it, although it adds up to 30 acres of land, in recent years, the wind has been unpredictable and the rain has not been smooth. People in the countryside have not seen the Daifengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, for a long time, so they can only eat two meals to solve the problem of food and clothing. Zyk, my mother cooked two eggs for you. Remember to eat them at noon. Your head injury is not healed yet, so you need to rest more at home. My mother has gone to work. Tian Mu was a bit worried. My daughter no longer remembers who she is, nor does she remember this family anymore. I can't trust her no matter what she thinks. Mom, I know now, you can rest assured, Jianzi managed, thinking about how to solve the problem of food and clothing. He couldn't eat two meals a day, could he? She can't hold on. After waiting for the Tian family to step out and start farming, Jianzi slowly began to look at the family. The Tian family is really too poor. The house only has one room for grandparents, one room for parents, one room for Tian Ziwei, Tian Zike, and Tian Zifei, one room for Tian Zian and Tian Ziheo, one kitchen, and one miscellaneous room. There are a total of six rooms, all of which are straw houses. Tianzi is a bit speechless now. I've worn it all through time travel, but can't I be too poor? I don't have a high status, rural woman. Crazy dad. Tian Zike saw Tian Zifei at home and quickly asked, Zifei, where do we store all our food? They are all in the miscellaneous room, replied Tian Zifei. Tianzi opened the door of the miscellaneous room and carefully looked at the grain. Baskets of rice, bags of various beans, red beans, mung beans, white beans, black beans, a pile of sweet potatoes, a pile of sweet potatoes, a few cans of pickled vegetables, a few cans of pickled Chinese cabbage, and then nothing, poor. Looking at these grains, Tian Zi was very worried. If he wanted to eat three meals a day, it was not enough. He could only eat two meals a day, barely enough. The next step is to find a way to ensure that the family eats three meals a day. At present, Tian Zaik asked about the information of Tian Zifei's village. This village is called Tianjia village. Tianjia village has a population of over 100 households, with more mountains and less land, and there is also a small stream. The mountain has no owner, so everyone can climb it. After learning some information, Tianzi can start wandering around Tianjia village. As we walked, we arrived at the edge of the stream. The stream is clear and bottomless, with small fish, shrimp, stone snails seeing this, Tianzi happily calculated and made some snails to eat. The stone snails here are large and numerous. So he quickly ran back home and picked up a small basket with Tian Zifei to pick up stone snails. Second sister, why are we picking this up? Tian Zifei asked in confusion. Eating, what else can we do? Tianzi replied. Can this be eaten? Tian Zifei looked at Shi Luo and said. Of course I can eat it, it's delicious. The stone snail meat is so fragrant, Tianzi said seriously. Tian Zifei picked up a stone snail and bit it into her mouth, it's not delicious, it's hard, where is there any meat? Tian Zike quickly explained, we can't eat it yet, nor can we eat it directly. We need to put water in the basin and let it spit out sediment for a few days, and then we can stir fry and eat it. Oh, I see, second sister. Tian Zifei's interest has decreased by half and she can't eat now. So I picked up the stone snail all morning. Chapter 3 
Stone Snail. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. At noon, Tianzi took out two eggs and divided them with Tianzi Fei. Tian Zifei refused to continue and said, Second sister, this is your egg, I can't eat it. It's okay, you can eat it. We'll go pick up stone snails later, Tianzi advised. Stone snails can be used as both meat and vegetables. Pick them up more and add them to your meal. There is really no oil or water in the dishes at home, and there are really no dishes. Thank you. Second sister, I'll eat it, Tian Zifei said happily. She hasn't eaten eggs for a long time and almost forgot what they taste like. The two of them ate an egg and started picking up stone snails in the afternoon. In the evening, the Tian family gradually returned home and saw dozens of kilograms of stone snails. Hey, isn't this a stone snail? Why do you pick it up? Tian Fu said in confusion. Where? Let me see. There are so many stone snails. Tian Mu didn't understand either. Who picked it up? Tian Ziwei also hurriedly asked Tianzi quickly said, stone snails can be eaten. Just keep them in a pot for a few days to spit out mud and sand. They are delicious, delicious, and delicious. Think about them every time you eat them. They are delicious. Some people used to pick it up and eat it, but the shell was hard and the meat was less chewy, with more sand and mud, which was not delicious. Later on, no one ate it anymore, Tian said. Yes, yes, no one eats, no one eats, only the second sister thinks it can be eaten, said Tian Zihail, the fourth brother, while playing with the stone snail. Tian Zike explained, that's because they don't know how to eat or cook. When I make it, you'll know what human deliciousness is. Just thinking about it makes your mouth water. The stone snail is delicious and fragrant, making it a rare delicacy. Tian Zifei's mouth watered as she listened, and she really wanted to eat. Second sister definitely wouldn't deceive anyone. It's too exaggerated, second sister, said third brother Tianzi. Tianzi will no longer explain, only after eating it will they feel delicious. Saying anything now is useless, it will only hang people's stomachs. For dinner, Tian Mu was cooking in the kitchen, and Tian Zi followed in to see what seasonings were available at home. Unexpectedly, when I entered the kitchen, I was speechless, with only oil and salt left. Tian Zi quickly asked, Mom, our only seasoning in the house is oil and salt. Tian Mu. Besides oil and salt, what else do you want? Tian Zi said, Mom, there won't be any other seasoning left. Just add oil and salt when cooking. Tian's mother was a bit impatient and said, what kind of seasoning is not seasoned? You can go and see the vegetable garden yourself, won't you? Tianzi quickly went to the vegetable garden to see what was there. The three-part vegetable garden was filled with water spinach, cucumbers, beans, chives, chili peppers, perilla, ginger, ginger, scallions, garlic, and then there was none left. Upon seeing this, Tianzi thought to himself, it's okay, okay, it's not too bad. It's just that the quantity is a bit small and not very edible. Dinner, one person per big bowl of rice. Side dishes. Stir-fried water spinach, stir-fried cucumber, and stir-fried sour green beans with chili. Tianzik was eating while thinking about the various methods of making stone snails. There isn't really much food at home. After a day like this, Tianzi felt a bit tired both physically and mentally, so he went to bed early and had no dreams all night. The next morning, after breakfast, Tianzi went to the creek to fish and shrimp. I really can't eat enough, I'm hungry. We can only catch fish and shrimp to supplement our food. These days are really dry and tasteless. Chapter 4 Stone Snail Meat You are listening at NovelFull.audio If you can't eat enough every day, Tianzi is almost starving to death. Every morning I drink congee, and at night I only have a bowl of rice. It's strange to be full. Tianzi is very puzzled. 
how do adults feel like they have enough to eat? Actually, everyone is hungry, just not saying it out loud. There is only a large bowl of rice and not much food. At noon, Tianzi looked at the stone snail and finally could eat it. I've been thinking for a long time, but I can finally eat the stone snail meat tonight. Tianzi can wash the stone snail clean, first put it in a pot to cook, then remove it, and then let it cool. Starting to pick the stone snail meat with a small wooden stick, there's something delicious tonight. Second sister, what are you doing? Fourth brother Tian Ziheo said. I'm picking stone snail meat, we can have delicious food tonight, replied Tianzi. Is that right? I'll try it and see if it tastes good, Tian Ziheo said urgently, quickly eating a stone snail meat. It's not delicious, it doesn't have much flavor, second sister, you're lying. Tian Zike explained, the stone snail meat is not that it doesn't taste bad, but because I picked it out and haven't stir-fried it yet, so it doesn't have much flavor. When I stir-fry it, you will know how delicious the stone snail meat is. Oh, okay, I got it. Second sister, I'll help you pick the stone snail meat. Tian Ziheo also started picking the stone snail meat. But not long after, Tian Ziheo began to feel a bit impatient, so he said to Tian Zike, second sister, our speed is too slow. I'll call big sister, third brother, and fifth sister to help. Well, okay, you can go, replied Tianzi. Actually, you don't need to pick the stone snail meat to come out, but you don't have the tools to cut the stone snail meat. Even if you do, Tianzi doesn't have the strength to cut it, so he still chose to pick the stone snail meat to come out. So the five of them picked for an hour and finally finished. All the stone snail meat was stir-fried next. Second sister, this stone snail meat is best delicious, otherwise we'll all be working for nothing. Fourth brother Tian Ziheo's hands were exhausted. Yeah, second sister, it's best to have the best food, otherwise we'll all be sorry for our hands. Third brother Tian Zian also felt tired. Don't worry, second sister. She will definitely make delicious food and won't let you work for nothing, Tianzi said confidently. Do you want to stir fry? Do you know how to stir fry? Mom definitely won't let you stir fry, Tian Ziwei said with cold water. Big sister, don't worry, I will tell my mother that we will have delicious food tonight, replied Tianzi. We have something delicious tonight, Tian Zifei said as she flowed down the drain. I'm sure it will make you taste delicious, and you'll want to take a bite after finishing it, Tianzi replied with a smile as she looked at Tianzi Fei. This is too cute, isn't it? I haven't even started eating yet, but my mouth is watering. In the evening, Tian Mu finally went home to cook. Tianzi said visibly, Mom, let me stir fry tonight. The dishes I stir fry are so delicious. Tian's mother looked pleased and said, My son is really sensible. He knows how to stir fry at a young age. He's so good. Let's play and cook for you. Don't make any noise, Mom. Mom, let me stir fry tonight. I really know how to stir fry. I've picked out all the stone snail meat, so let me cook dinner. Tianzi begged Tianmu hard and soft, and finally agreed to let Tianzi cook, but she had to supervise the work. Tianzi quickly prepared various ingredients for stir frying. Dinner. Stir fried cucumber, garlic and water spinach, egg and leek soup, stir fried stone snail meat with chili. Chapter 5 Stir fried stone snail meat. You are listening at novelfull.audio. When serving dishes, adults are not interested in stone snail meat, but talk about eggs. How did you put the eggs in this leek soup? Tian said. What? Eggs. Upon hearing this, Li couldn't stop and said to Tian Mu, Lu Hong, why do you put eggs in the leek soup? Eggs are so expensive, they have to be sold for money. Tian's mother had no choice but to say to Li, tonight's dishes are all stir-fried. I have already asked her to take fewer eggs, otherwise she would have put more than two eggs. What? 
does Lee still feel bad after hearing this? The shortcut said, how can you let a child behave recklessly? These are two eggs, and that's also money. Okay, I see. I won't let her do it next time, Tianmu felt a bit aggrieved. After hearing this, Tianzi didn't know what was going on in her heart. If she had known this, she wouldn't have put eggs anymore. There were many things to do. Not putting it is not delicious, and not enough. Who can eat two eggs? So many people. All right, all right, isn't it just two eggs? Just boil them and eat them. What else can we do, said Grandpa Tian. The whole family sat down one after another, each with a large bowl of rice and a limited edition. What kind of dish is this? I've never seen it before. Father Tian wondered about this dish. Dad, I know this is stone snail meat, Tian Ziheo answered first. Dad, it's Shi Luo Ro, which was picked out by my sister, younger brother, and younger sister. Tian Zaik said to his father. We worked for a whole hour, but it was really hard, said Tian Zian. Yeah. It's hard. Tian Zifei's mouth was full of saliva and she wanted to eat too much. Try it quickly, this is the chili stir-fried stone snail meat I made, it's delicious. Tianzi quickly called out. It looks delicious, but I don't know how it tastes, said Tian Ziwei. Faced with a large plate of chili peppers stir-fried stone snail meat, the family took up chopsticks and picked up the stone snail meat to taste. This is too delicious, isn't it? commented Tian Ziheo. Stir-fried stone snail meat is delicious, isn't this meat? Tian Zian asked. Of course it's meat, everyone said it's stone snail meat, Tianzi replied while eating. Eat well, Tianzi feels like eating and crying. She wants to go back to modern times and then eat all kinds of meat. She misses the feeling of wanting to eat meat too much. This stone snail meat is really good, delicious, replied Tian Fu. It's so delicious. I've never had such a delicious stone snail meat before. Second sister, you stir fry it so well, praised Tian Ziwei. Mom, eat well, I still want it. Can you help me pick it up quickly? Tian Zifei coquettishly said. Okay, okay, mom, I got it. Mom can help you pick it up, you little greedy cat. Tian Mu responded and picked up a few chopsticks. I'm so old alive, it's my first time eating stone snail meat. It feels good, delicious, and delicious. Orchid, you should try it too, said Mr. Tian. Lee had just taken a sip, but before he could answer, Grandpa Tian said, how's it going? Is it delicious? Lee took a few bites in succession and replied, this is too delicious, it's on par with meat. Second sister said it's meat, it must be delicious, Tian Zian replied. Quickly, a large plate of chili fried stone snail meat was sandwiched empty. Spicy and delicious, with a delicious and delicious taste, this is everyone's evaluation. So, everyone suggested picking up more tomorrow. Tomorrow we can pick up more snails and come back. Pick up more, stone snails are also considered meat and can be added to the meal. I want to eat stone snail meat tomorrow. The stone snail meat is too delicious, I want to eat it every day. Tianzi is very satisfied in his heart, can it not be delicious? This is meat. Chapter 6 Bamboo Shoots You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next morning, four adults from the Tian family went out to farm. There are only a few children at home, and everyone plans to go and pick up a few baskets of stone snails to come back. Because it is a small stream, not a big river, the adults are very reassured and let the children go pick up stone snails on their own. A few children from the Tian family happily picked up stone snails in the creek, and soon filled several baskets. After arriving home, immediately pour mud and sand into the basin. During this period, Tianzi learned that there was a large mountain to the west, full of wild bamboo. Tianzike immediately wanted to go and see if there were any bamboo shoots there. 
walking quickly arrived at the destination. Looking around, the mountains and fields are filled with wild bamboo. As soon as Tyanzyk arrived at the foot of the mountain, he found bamboo shoots and happily pulled them up. The taste of raw bamboo shoots is bitter and astringent, so no one knows how to eat them. This is really cheap for Tyanzyk, so she kept pulling the bamboo shoots and quickly filled a basket. But Tyanzyk was not satisfied with the current situation, so he quickly went home and called Tianzawai to come and pull bamboo shoots together to bring them home. Tian Ziwei was taken aback and said, Bamboo shoots can still be eaten. I have never heard of anyone eating them, nor have I seen anyone eating bamboo shoots at home. Tian Zyk put down the bamboo shoots in his hand and said, Bamboo shoots can be eaten, but they need to be processed before they can be eaten. Otherwise, they will taste bitter and astringent, not delicious at all, and difficult to swallow. Tian Ziwei. How do you know how to handle it? Tianzi took it for granted. Of course I know. Bamboo shoots are good things. Peel and shell them, cut them into shreds, soak them in water, change the water, and remove the bitterness. Then you can stir fry them and eat them. They taste better when fried with meat. Tian Ziwei was a bit skeptical and said, Can this really be eaten? Will it eat bad people? It can be eaten, but it's delicious. Stir fry and meat stir fry are all very delicious. If you eat them, there won't be any problem, so you can rest assured, replied Tianzi. Okay, I believe you, second sister. After hearing Tian Zyke's words, Tian Ziwei also picked up a basket and went up the mountain to pick bamboo shoots. The two of them kept picking bamboo shoots, peeling them and taking them home. Soon, they piled up a pile and left it at home. At noon, Tian Zyke's stomach was growling with hunger, so he and Tian Ziwei went home to rest and stopped picking bamboo shoots. Because there was no food to eat, the children of the Tian family secretly went to fetch some sweet potatoes to eat, in order to solve the problem of hunger. Big sister, second sister, what are you doing in the morning? After picking up the snails, I don't see you anymore. When I go home, I see a pile of bamboo shoots. Tian Zian asked. My elder sister and I are going to pick bamboo shoots. Do you have anything to do with us? Tian Zyk asked. It's nothing, just to ask you where you went. We can't even find you guys, said Tian Zian. Zyk said that bamboo shoots can be eaten, so we went to pick them, Tian Ziwei said in agreement. Second sister, is this true? But it can really be eaten. Tian Zian continued. It can be eaten, it's delicious, and you'll know in a few days, replied Tianzi. After finishing the sweet potatoes, Tianzi Ku and Tianzi Wei started cutting bamboo shoots into shreds. Because Tian Zian, Tian Ziheo, and Tian Zifei are too young, they don't need their help. The bamboo shoots were neither long nor short, neither big nor small, and quickly cut into a pile. After an hour, the bamboo shoots were finally cut. After marinating the bamboo shoots, Tianzi is ready to cook rice with Tianzi. However, after Tian Mu returned, she did not allow Tian Zi to cook vegetables, thinking that Tian Zi's cooking was unreliable and adding too much oil. Tianzi had no choice but to step back and play with his younger siblings. Chapter 7 Selling Sour Bamboo Shoots you are listening at NovelFull.audio. In the evening, the Tian family ate dinner neatly. Tian Ziwei talked about what happened during the day. Dad, Mom, Zyke said that bamboo shoots can be eaten, so Zyke and I picked a lot back. Where can I eat bamboo shoots? Don't eat bad people. I've never seen anyone eat them before, Tian Fu said incredulously. Yeah. I'm so old alive that I haven't seen anyone eat bamboo shoots, said Grandpa Tian. But we have already picked a lot and come back, Tian Ziwei now felt a bit incredulous. Where are they all? I'll throw them away tomorrow, Tian said. Tian Zyke listened to their conversation and quickly said, Dad, you can't throw it away. Bamboo shoots can be eaten. 
Really, bamboo shoots are delicious. It's because you don't know how to eat them. Where can I eat it? Father Tian still doubted. As long as you soak in water every day, change the water, and remove the bitterness, you can eat it in a few days, explained Tianzi. No, what if we eat bad people? Tian Fu still insisted on doubting. Dad, just believe me. These bamboo shoots are really edible. If you don't believe them, you can wait a few days to know the result, Tianzi insisted. Then let's wait a few days. Anyway, our family doesn't have enough food to eat. It would be good to have more vegetables and a mouthful of food, Grandpa Tian thought for a moment. Anyway, we don't have much food at home. Dad, you see Grandpa has agreed. Tianzi breathed a sigh of relief, and it would be easier to handle it with Grandpa Tian. I haven't seen anyone eat it before, Tian Fu still doubted. Don't you know in a few days? Pickled bamboo shoots only need to be marinated for a few days, Tianzi said seriously. Grandpa Tian saw that he didn't need to spend money, he just needed to put in some effort, so he didn't object much. So he said, Yunemo, don't worry about so much. Anyway, he doesn't spend money. The result will be known in a few days. Tian Fu had no choice but to respond. Seeing them not believing much, Tianzi no longer explained anything. In a few days, he would realize how delicious bamboo shoots are. So in the next few days, Tianzi almost went up the mountain to pick bamboo shoots every day. She had a plan in her heart, which was to sell sour bamboo shoots to make money. This family is really poor, they can't even eat enough. In three days, Tianzi made over 100 kilograms of sour bamboo shoots. Today, I can finally eat sour bamboo shoots. Tianzi happily scooped up a few pounds and stir-fried them to eat. Stir-fried sour bamboo shoots. Before stir-frying the sour bamboo shoots for dinner, Tian Mu took a bite of them. They were crispy and delicious, and she didn't doubt anything. They were ready to eat. As soon as the stir-fried sour bamboo shoots were served, everyone took off their chopsticks to taste them. Well, it's delicious, crispy, sour, just like what second sister said, Tianzi said with a smile. This taste, this taste, is really good, you can eat it with confidence, said Mr. Tian, who had lived for so long and didn't know that bamboo shoots could be eaten. Mm, eat well. Fourth brother Tian Ziheo. I really like it, it's crispy and refreshing, said Tian Zian, the third brother. This is too delicious, Dad. I don't doubt you now, Zyke, Tian said. After listening to everyone's comments and saying it was delicious, Tian Zyke said, it's delicious. I said it could be eaten, but now you believe it. My plan is to sell sour bamboo shoots. What do you think? What? Take it for sale. Will anyone buy it? Tian Fu suspected again. This hasn't been eaten by anyone, which doesn't mean no one knows how to eat it. There should be someone who knows how to eat it, Grandpa Tian thought for a moment. Dad, let's give it a try and see if anyone will eat it. Tianzi said while the iron was hot. After thinking for a while, Mr. Tian and his father decided to sell sour bamboo shoots. My family is really too poor to eat, so I decided to take the risk of selling sour bamboo shoots. Chapter 8 Making a Small Profit You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day, Tian Fu carried a load of sour bamboo shoots to the county town to sell. Because it is a mountain road, it takes an hour. After seeing off Tian Fu, Tian Zike and Tian Ziwei continued to go up the mountain to pick bamboo shoots. Bamboo shoots grow day and night, and they grow much larger. Even at the foot of the mountain, no matter how much they are harvested, they cannot be finished. Tian Zike's heart is so tired and excited. Money, money, I'm here again. At Yushur, Tian Fu came back with a burden and only half of the bamboo shoots were sold. Sour bamboo shoots cost 1 kilogram and were sold for 47 kilograms, totaling 329 yuan. 
I spent 21 and bought one pound of pork belly, leaving 309 yuan. Dinner. Stir-fried pork belly with bamboo shoots, not to mention how fragrant it is, it's so delicious. Mr. Tian decided that his father would sell sour bamboo shoots, while others would pick bamboo shoots and pickle them. Tian Fu was very happy in his heart. Although not all of them were sold, he earned over 300 won a day by selling sour bamboo shoots. The whole family is so happy, I think these days are also good, over 300 won. Tian Zaik suggested, why don't we sell directly to the restaurant? It's so convenient, time.saving, and labor.saving. Tian Fu quickly said, yes, I'll go to the restaurant tomorrow. Tianzi continued, but we can only provide it to one family. Rare things are precious. So the next day, I sold it to the restaurant for 30 pounds. On the third day, it was sold to the restaurant for 50 pounds. Tian Fu sells sour bamboo shoots every day, and his business is getting better and better day by day. A load of sour bamboo shoots can be sold out quickly. These days lasted for over a month, and businesses selling sour bamboo shoots began to appear on the streets. Tian Fu was a little worried. After all, he was the only one who sold it before. Now there are competitors, and he suddenly feels bad. In the evening, Tian Fu said to everyone, there are also people selling sour bamboo shoots in the county now, there are still several. What? Some people also sell sour bamboo shoots. Isn't it just our family that dominates? What should we do now? Everyone was discussing, but Tian Zi didn't panic at all. Dad, don't worry, it's okay. Isn't it just a competitor? We'll continue to sell our sour bamboo shoots, and he'll sell them as long as he doesn't lower the price. If the price drops, it's really not good. Besides, we've made more than a month's worth of money, which can be considered a small profit. Yes, Zyke was right, he made a small profit, Tian Fu said happily afterwards. The whole family was also happy and made a small profit. I earn over 20 tails in just over a month, weighing 100 kilograms per day and 7 one per kilogram. The food has undergone significant changes over the past month, no longer limited to simple meals. The days passed day by day, and more and more people were selling sour bamboo shoots. Even people from Tianjia village came out to sell sour bamboo shoots, and the number of bamboo shoots on the mountain gradually decreased. The business of the restaurant is very good, but there are a large number of sour bamboo shoot merchants on the market who are buying at low prices. 7 mosquitoes per kilogram, drop to 5 mosquitoes per kilogram. Sometimes Tian Fu can't sell all the pickled bamboo shoots he sells. There are too many people selling pickled bamboo shoots, and there are too many competitors. Money is also starting to drop, and the restaurant business is being taken away by others. Grandpa Tian advised, why don't we take a break? We won't sell anymore. How can this be done? Sell as much as you can in a day, at least it's also money. Tian Fu disagreed. Then it's up to you, Grandpa Tian let go. So Tian Fu sold it for a few days, but he didn't sell it anymore. Business is really not doing well, selling up to a dozen or even a few pounds a day. The price of sour bamboo shoots has dropped from 5 one per kilogram to 3 one per kilogram. Chapter 9 Market Rush You are listening at NovelFull.audio on such days, after resting for a few days, Tianzike suggested that everyone and their family go to the market. Actually, Tianzi has not been to the county town yet, so he wants to go and have a look and play. How advanced was this ancient times? After all, I've been wearing it for almost two months now. It's time to take a walk, take a look, take a look, and there's still a little money to spend. Tian Fu gave 100 when alone. Due to their old age and young age, the only candidates to go to the market were Tian Fu, Tian Mu, Tian Zi Ku, and Tian Ziwei. Tian Zian and Tian Zihao were clamoring to follow, but Tian Zifei was young and didn't understand, 
so she was very obedient and didn't follow. Well, Dad, I'm going. Tian Zian said he was going anyway. Dad, I'll go too. I don't want to stay at home, Tian Ziheo followed. Zian, Ziheo, be good and obedient. My parents and sister will be back soon, Tian Fu comforted. I don't care, I just want to go, Tian Ziheo cried. Unable to do anything, Tian's parents comforted the two brothers and promised to buy delicious and fun things for them when they returned. Just like this, there was a commotion for a pillar of incense time. Tian's parents finally comforted him. The four of them started off, walked for an hour and a half, and finally arrived at the county town. People come and go on the streets, and there are also many people selling things. Tianzi's eyes are almost blurred. Sister, do you have anything to buy? Tianzi asked. I want to buy some headbands, Tian Ziwei replied. And what else do you want to buy? Tianzi chased after him. No, I don't have anything to buy. What do you want to buy? Tian Ziwei asked. I don't want to buy anything, I just want to buy practical things, Tianzi replied, thinking about what to buy. Oh, what do you want to buy? Tian Ziwei asked again. I want to buy two pliers so that we can suck on stone snails, Tianzi thought and drool, wanting to suck on stone snails too much. Tian Ziwei didn't understand, Tian Zike quickly explained. In the end, Tian Zike bought two pliers and spent 41, 21 each. Tian Ziwei bought a few headbands and spent 5 won. Tian's parents also bought some household items. Then, everyone walked together to another street, where food was sold everywhere. Tian Fu bought four meat buns, one for two one, four vegetarian buns, and one for one one. Zike, Ziwei, come and eat baozi. Tian Fu took out two meat buns and gave them to Tian Zike. Tian Zi only took one meat bun and said, Dad, I'll just eat one meat bun and give me another vegetarian bun. Tian Fu said with a relieved expression, Zike, Dad likes to eat vegetarian buns. If you eat meat buns, they can grow. Tianzi refused to agree to anything and said, No, I don't want it, I just want the package. Tian Fu was no longer easy to say, so he gave him a meat bun and a vegetarian bun. Tian Ziwei also ordered a meat bun and a vegetarian bun upon seeing this. The four of them were divided into one meat bun and one vegetarian bun. Delicious, it's so delicious. Before leaving, I bought five meat buns and five vegetarian buns, but my family hasn't eaten them yet. When you're full, just take a walk and get ready to go home. At the meat stall, the boss kept shouting to customers to buy meat. Tian Mu bought five pounds of sesame oil, 22 one per pound, one pound of pork belly, and 21 per pound, spending a total of 131. Boss, how do you sell pig water? Tianzi asked as he looked at the pig water. Unexpectedly, as soon as she finished speaking, everyone stared at her and was shocked, leaving a pig in the water. The boss came to his senses and said, No money, you have to throw it away. If you like it, take it. What? No money. Tianzi was excited and said, I'll take everything. No, we don't. Father Tian quickly spoke up. No, we'll all take it, Dad. Don't worry, I'll handle it myself. Just wait and eat. Tianzi didn't care what his parents said, but he still ordered all the pig water. Chapter 10 Pig Water You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tian's father had to help Tian Zike finish all the pigs in the water. Passing by a pharmacy, Tian Zike said, wait for me here, I'll go buy some ingredients. Octagon, cinnamon, fennel, Sichuan pepper, stir-fried button, grass fruit, cloves, fragrant leaves, licorice. A total of 101. Not enough money, Tian Zike borrowed 41 from Tian Zui. After paying the money, the four of them happily went home. Mom and Dad, Big Sister, Second Sister, you're back, Tian Zian said first. Mom and Dad, 
you're back, Tian Ziheo said. Dad, Mom, Tian Zifei followed. Zian, Ziheo, Zifei, we're back, said Tianzike. Come on, come on, have some delicious food. Father Tian waved his hand. It's Baozi, Tian Ziheo became excited. One meat bun per person, one vegetarian bun. Dad, Mom, you guys eat too, Tian Fu said to Grandpa Tian. Why buy ours? Spend a lot of money, just give it to the children to eat, and we're not greedy. Grandpa Tian couldn't understand. I bought it all, let alone each of us eating it. We can't miss your two elders, so you should eat it quickly. Father Tian handed over a meat bun and a vegetarian bun. Mr. Tian had no choice but to continue, don't spend these wasted money next time. Okay, I got it, Tian Fu replied. In his fifties, Mr. Tian rarely eats steamed buns because he wants money. Although it's not expensive, it's also money. Grandpa Tian couldn't bear to part with it, and evenly couldn't bear to spend this money. The two of them ate the steamed buns with great heartache. As soon as Tian Fu put the pig into the water, Grandpa Tian saw it and said, What are you doing with this? It smells so bad. Tian Fu explained, This is something that can be taken back by the sun. He insisted on making it into something to eat. Mr. Tian clearly didn't believe it. What do you want? Make it into something to eat. How do you eat it? It smells so bad. Tian Fu was also speechless, I don't know either. Anyway, since I didn't spend any money, I brought it back. Grandpa Tian breathed a sigh of relief upon hearing this. If he didn't spend any money, then it would be fine. Tianzi doesn't care about so much. When it's done, you'll know how delicious and fragrant it is. So he took the pig into the water and went to the creek to clean it. Tian's mother is cooking dinner at home, and Tian Ziwei helps Tian Zai clean the pig water. Half an hour later, all the pig water was finally cleaned. After finishing the meal, Tian Zai began to braise the pig in the water. I bought a lot of seasoning, so I only added a small portion. A pot full of pig water, Tian Zi looked very happy. Meat, meat, let me wish you all the best, the truth behind braised vegetables. After cooking over high heat for half an hour and then simmering for another half an hour, the braised vegetables became ready. Tianzi took out a small portion and cut it into pieces before putting it on a plate, saying, Master, milk, father, mother, elder sister, younger brother, and younger sister, the braised vegetables are ready. Come and taste them all. As soon as the braised vegetables were served, the whole family gathered around. Is this braised vegetable? It smells so delicious. Is this really pig water? It smells good, can we eat it now? Is this pig's water? It's too fragrant, isn't it? The pig water is ready, let me taste it. Everyone spoke up one after another, a little skeptical, and this was pig water. Because this is really delicious. Just stare at the braised vegetables, then place your chopsticks and taste them. Delicious. It's so delicious, there's no smell at all, it's fragrant. It's really delicious. After taking one bite, I want to take another. Is this braised vegetable? It's really delicious. I also want braised vegetables, they are so delicious. Tian Zaik watched them eat braised vegetables and listened to their reviews, so he said, Dad, let's take this and sell it. It's both delicious and delicious. Someone will definitely buy it. 